going on guys? Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2017 and of course it has to be about Jerome because every time it seems like that I post a new Jerome video, Cameron Monaghan drops another photo that I have to talk about. That's exactly what happened after I posted my last Jerome video. Like an hour or two after it posted, Monaghan went ahead and dropped a new photo on his Instagram and this photo I have to say is a bit juicy because it actually furthers one of our theories that we've talked about here on this channel and that is the theory that Jerome is going to wake up in the GCPD without his face. Before we go any further here is the photo that Cameron Monaghan posted on his Instagram. It is a shot, an up close shot of him smiling. You see some blood on his teeth but the biggest thing you notice is that everything is red. His lips, his skin, everything is red and he's not covered in blood. This is his actual photo of himself without his face on. The reason we know that Jerome doesn't have his face is because we've seen this photo right here with Lee Tompkins where she is pulling the cover back from what seems to be a dead Jerome without his face. If you saw my last video, you know that we confirmed that Jerome is dead and that his followers want to resurrect him. And there was a photo out there of Jerome possibly being frozen in one of those tubes that we saw in the trailer. We can't confirm that, but we did read the synopsis that said that they want to resurrect him, meaning that Jerome is dead. And then we see this photo right here of him without his face on a death table at the GCPD. It's not called the death table. I don't know why I said that, but you know what I mean? He's dead on a table. Lee Tompkins is pulling a cover over him or, you know, off of him to see his exposed faceless head. So with all of that, we can make educated guesses that this new photo that Cameron Monaghan has posted is an up close shot of Jerome without his face. Like I said, this new photo furthers our theory that Jerome is going to wake up in the GCPD and go searching for the person that stole his face. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go check out this video right here. I went in depth about how I think Jerome is going to wake up and possibly go searching for his face. I also showed this photo right here in that video of somebody in a cop car running over a person. We, you know, zoomed in on the character and stuff like that. It didn't seem like it was anybody important, it just seemed like it was a random guy. But it could possibly be Jerome in that car driving away from the GCPD on the way to go get his face. Before I continue, it seemed like when I posted the last Jerome video and I was like, Jerome's officially dead. A lot of you thought that he's dead like completely. No, that's not the case. Like we know he's coming back. They've been releasing a lot of this stuff. So a lot of you, I wasn't, I didn't get some of the comments. They're like, no, Jerome's dead. Like, I mean, we knew he was dead guys. Like I didn't, I was kind of confused on what some people thought there, but you know, Jerome is coming back if you're curious. And we're just trying to build the theme theory or guess the theory on how he's coming back. The strongest theory I think so far is that he's going to be coming back somehow. And now, I mean, somehow he's going to come back, but I think he's going to wake up in the GCPD and he's going to be like, where the hell's my face? And he's going to go looking for it. That's my theory. In the last video, a lot of people were talking about how juice, juice, did you see the casting for episode 12? Hugo Strange is going to be in the episode. So of course, a lot of people are thinking that maybe the Jerome followers are going to get Hugo Strange and they're going to make him resurrect uh, Jerome. And like a lot of that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense because Hugo Strange has done it. Maybe they were part of Fish's crew because remember Fish had all of those crazy, you know, like people from Indian Hill and maybe some of the acolytes got in that too because they were trying to find Jerome. You know, there's a bunch of reasons how they could have found out that like Fish Mooney's back, but she died. How did she come back? and whatever. And she came back with all her memories and stuff and they probably heard it was from Hugo Strange. So, and you know, Fish was saying that she wanted Hugo Strange, so she probably told a lot of people on the streets, you know. There's a lot of things that we could make sense of how they figure out that Hugo Strange is the one that can bring people back to life. What still doesn't make sense is why Jerome was teased in Indian Hill coming out of the bus at the end of season two and now is somehow frozen. I saw in the, you know, in the comments, a lot of people had theories on why it would happen. And some people were like, maybe he loses his memory and that, you know, he wants to, uh, you know, that maybe somebody tricks him into going into the frozen thing. That's possible. But I feel like if you were to tell somebody like, hey, I can help you get your memories back. You could just be like, but I need you to stay in this room or I need you to stay in this house. You know what I mean? Instead of just being like, I need to put you in a frozen chamber. You know what I mean? So I'm really, I'm still really curious on how they're going to do this resurrection point. And obviously, like I said, with this photo, Jerome is dead. Like he's on the table without his face. 
So, this is my educated guess on what could possibly be happening, why Jerome is actually out of it, or he's dead and he's missing his face, okay? What if for some reason Jerome is just knocked out right now? Like, you know, there have been those stories or whatever, like people just have a very low heartbeat, like you can't detect it, like there's like those medicines in comic books or whatever, that it makes you seem like they're dead, it even happened in Romeo and Juliet. But you know what I mean? Maybe what if Jerome was actually going to go under for the procedure of getting his face taken off, and that's what makes him seem like he's dead. And they're just like, oh no, I can't feel a post. And that's why he gets taken to the GCPD. It could happen when they're doing the whole like Jerome followers video thing. What if the surgery is going on at that point? Or what if the Jerome follower does want to resurrect him and he's just trying to take his face? You know, like I'm just, I'm, that is the biggest question for me. Why would you remove his face? So I'm thinking that the follower wants his face. But at the same time, he's saying that he wants to resurrect Jerome. So maybe he's telling the followers of Jerome that we're going to resurrect him. We're going to bring him back to life. But secretly, he's going to take his face and put it on him so he could have all the power. So he hires somebody to actually take off Jerome's face. Maybe Jerome's already alive. Maybe he did find Jerome just on, you know, the streets wandering around or whatever. And he's just like, Jerome didn't remember anything. So he's like, oh, let me help you out, buddy. And then he's like, we're going to help you out right now. We're going to give you your memories. But he's actually going to have Jerome get sedated and he's going to take his face. What if that is what's going to happen? And then when the GCPD shows up, you know, because Gordon and Bullock stumble upon this place, they break it up. They find Jerome's body and they're like, what the hell? How is this guy alive? He was probably from Indian Hill. Blah, 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 blah. And they check his pulse and they're like, no, he's dead. But he's actually just heavily sedated and you're not able to know that he's alive. So they take him to the GCPD and then bada bing, bada boom, he freaking wakes up and he's all like, where am I? Right? That is very possible. And remember how when freaking Galavan was first came back to life, he didn't remember anything, but he had those flashbacks of like sister and blah, 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 and Galavan and Mayor. And he started to slowly remember who he was. What if that happens with Jerome, but when they put him under for the surgery to take off his face, he actually starts to remember everything and he comes back and he's all like, he's got to figure out who stole his face or he remembers he remembers who stole his face because maybe he only remembers the guy that actually was helping him out which is you know the follower and then bada bing bada boom that is why he goes to go find the person that stole his face because he remembers after he wakes up <laughs> I mean, come on, I think that is probably one of the best guesses we've had so far in these videos, okay? So let's really think about it. So let's say the follower wants Jerome's powers. Maybe he found Jerome wandering. If he did find Jerome wandering, that means the Indian Hill stuff still makes sense. Jerome doesn't have his memory. This follower's all like, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him hidden, and then I'm gonna tell everybody, like, let's resurrect Jerome, we wanna bring him back, blah, 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 blah. I've said blah, blah, blah like five times in this video already, haven't I? Anyways, he's telling everybody that we're gonna resurrect Jerome, but he's actually gonna go ahead and get his face taken off, and he wants to replace his face with his. Something along that lines, possibly, and then things go wrong because they're cutting off Jerome's face during the process. Maybe they get raided or whatever the case is, and Jerome's just left on the table, but the doctor and that guy are like, just take the face, take the face, it's all we need. And they, you know, Gordon and everybody stumbles upon Jerome just laying on the table. They think he's dead because he's got all of this, you know, emergency, like, stuff and it's probably not going to be the best equipment so they're not going to know they're probably just going to think he's a dead body laying on the table with his face cut off so they take him to gcpd that's where lee tompkins is going to do an autopsy or whatever and maybe he even wakes up when lee's there he could grab her or something like that throw her down or he could just do whatever or maybe she i think he's going to wake up when nobody's in the area maybe she gets called out of the area he's going to wake up and he's going to go steal a cop car run somebody over and he's going to remember who did that to him and that is going to start the craziness that is the joker he's going to find the guy that has his face and he's going to be like you're going to put this back on right now 
that's when he's gonna staple it on and you know make sure it looks all good and he's gonna have the scars there I think this is gonna heal around his eyes it'll heal but it'll heal with scar tissue or whatever so it'll look kind of weird and crazy uh, and I think that's what's gonna happen so yeah it's a pretty crazy theory but it would make sense with everything that we've seen so far in all of these different photos so yeah that is how we're opening up 2017 with a crazy possible theory on how Jerome is actually going to get his face cut off and it all makes sense with the Indian Hill teasers and all this stuff. It could definitely not be anything we just said and Gotham's all like, oh yeah, that dude in Indian Hill wasn't Jerome, we were just messing with you guys, blah, blah, blah. And you know, then we can just chalk that up to bad writing or whatever because it's you shouldn't be doing stuff like that just for funsies. It should all make sense because it gives that much more of an in-depth feel to the show. But, you know, that's why there are rumors that this show might get canceled. I hope not, especially when they're bringing back Jerome, but, you know, I'm just saying, Gotham, hire me if you want this stuff to make sense, especially if you're going to butcher this whole area right now, because it should. It should all make sense. You teased us with Jerome, with Indian Hill stuff. It should have a storyline from Indian Hill to now why his face is getting cut off. It's a solid theory. Come on. We'll see what happens, but I want to know what you guys think of this whole new theory. Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with all your Jerome buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, I'm your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I made a daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. Bye!